If I was on some BS, my brother, like, you know what I'm saying? Like how much more, not to mention my own integrity and the body of work I've shown as a role model and hero for our people outside of that and just moral feel goods. Bro, King, we've been vetted. I've been vetted. I'm continuing to be vetted. How much more can I, can I make my efforts and intentions and actions clear is, bro, you asked me about assets. I showed you all the assets that we funded, black women that we funded, jobs that we've created. It was the thing, this is my whole point, there's no win here. You get investigated, you're wrong. You get cleared from investigation, you're wrong. You raise money, I think you're gonna run off pay nobody. Oh, you pay somebody, it's not enough. At what point is it, you understand? Like, like at what point, and I'm cool. I accept that there's gonna be a crowd of people that feel like that. I'm not even minding y'all. I'm giving you this time right now because my wife set this up and said I should do it. I'm not even mind, bro. You can't win when somebody's committed to saying that you're wrong or you're this. Because I was wrong if I didn't pay. I'm wrong if I do pay. If I had paid a $50 dividend, I told y'all it's a scheme. You paid too much. He got to be doing something. You paid that much. There's no, but you know who it is a win for? It's a win for those who could feel love frequency, who could feel authenticity, who could see one of our brightest minds that Tamika Mallory calls me, that Tip calls me, that, that others call me, literally trying and sacrificing and taking all the darts for all of us. So somebody else can come behind me and follow the blueprint, even do it better. And they say, aha, I did it better than Jay Morrison. But I laid the blueprint and took all the darts down. That's cool, I'll take that one too, if it elevates our people. That part. But Jay, uh, you know, I appreciate you you not hiding behind or trying to dodge any questions. Um, I appreciate you educating people on where the fund is today. Um, and, and, you know, really trying to answer the questions as honestly as you possibly could. I think that in the end, you know, time will always tell, but at this point, you're innocent to proven guilty. You know, just as many people out there who are out there uh, shining light on, on what they would like others to believe are, are fraudulent behavior, there's just as many people who have invested in you and will continue to support what you're doing. So, Three times as many. There you go. So I would just say, you know, this interview was number one, it's, we call it power move makers for a reason. And what you have done coming from where you have come from, you fit that definition for sure. And, and until a court of law or, or something comes out to where we can say, you know, aha, now it's been proven, you are a power move maker. It's, it's, nah, you know, I, I got to reject that. What part? The part that you even saying until. Like, bro. I would say off. until if we were talking about Barack Obama, it's not, it's not, it's not insinuating anything. What I'm saying is, just I, like would, I, would, I would challenge you to say if our brother has been through investigations and our brother, there's been nothing found on our brother and our brother has shown he's paid dividend and there's nothing actual concrete, then we have to give our brother the benefit of doubt. Then maybe until... better choice. That's a better choice of wording and I'll say it because that's actually what I meant. So if our brother has been through, a vest in through two separate federal investigations and nothing has come out, then we have to give our brother the benefit of the doubt. And that is why I wanted to have you on this program for that reason right there. So, you know, again, I thank you for not dodging any questions. You answered some of the most difficult questions that I feel I could have thrown at you. Um, you know, and, and, and again, we'll continue to support and consider the podcast a an outlet. Um, you. If you ever want to come back and, and get anything out from your standpoint, you know, we're here. And this is why we do 
what we do is to shine the spotlight on brothers and sisters who have done incredible things in business, who have taken themselves from the worst, most impoverished beginnings and achieved high level success. So I thank you. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.